Welcome back to another lesson with me, Mr. B. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about the various traits that make up naturalism. According to the Oxford Dictionary of Literary Terms, naturalism is a more deliberate realism, involving human beings as passive victims of natural forces and social environment. Naturalism introduces characters from the fringes and depths of society, far from the middle class, whose lives really do spin out of control. Their fates are seen to be the outcome of degenerate heredity, a sordid environment, and the bad luck that can often seem to control the lives of people without money or influence. So what does this mean? Naturalists believe that realism failed to depict the genuine violence of the modern world, that realists focused too much on the middle and professional class. Naturalists wanted to explore how biology, the environment, and other material forces shaped the lives of the lower class people, who had less control over their lives than those who were more privileged. So naturalists suggest that realism was never actually about capturing the everyday, that it was exclusive to one particular group, those who were more privileged. An example could be, say, The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald, one particular class or race. Naturalism suggests that realism fails to depict the genuine violence and issues Americans experience. Some notable authors of the realism and naturalist era are William Dean Howells, Henry James, Hamlin Garland, William Roscoe Thayer, Frank Norris, Jack London, Charlotte Perkins, Gilman, and Mark Twain. So up next on Nearpod, take a moment to respond to the following question. What do naturalists believe and how does naturalism improve upon the ideas of realism? And if you haven't already, make sure to read pages 17 to 20 and 21 and then respond to the following questions. What are the differences and similarities between naturalism and realism? How do you think that naturalism ties into experiences we see in the 21st century? Make sure to write your response on Google Classroom and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.